Since there was a dearth of technological advancements during that era, the events of Curse Mountain take place in the late 1980s. A mountain in the Himalayas known as Comalonzo, which the locals refer to as the Sacred One, serves as the setting for the whole of the game's action. The narrative of the game includes a significant amount of inspiration from Tibetan mythology and Buddhism. The source of the game's aesthetic inspiration. When undertaking mountain climbing, it is not unusual for individuals to go missing or die. This is especially true when the peak being climbed is very dangerous, such as Everest. In addition to climbing Mount Everest by himself, Reinhold Messner accomplished the feat of climbing the mountain without the use of any additional oxygen, which is an astounding accomplishment. A clear reference to Messner may be found in the video game Cursed Mountain, which was inspired by him. In addition to Barry Bishop and Edmund Hillary, he is one of the mountaineers that the game's primary adversary has climbed with. Additionally, throughout the game, a man called Eric is tasked with putting an end to his brother's actions, which include releasing terrible spirits and monsters into the earth. The terrible death of Messner's climber brother Gunther, which occurred just as the two of them were descending a mountain together, served as the impetus for this particular story element. To climb Comalonzo, a mountain in the Himalayas that has never been climbed to its peak and is steeped in mythology, the protagonist, Eric Simmons, is given the task of climbing the mountain. Sherpas, who adhere to a particular branch of Buddhism and consider the mountain to be a goddess, are the people who take up residence on the mountain. After being sent by Edward Bennett, a rich donor, to acquire the Terma, a mythological item that was just discovered to be located atop Comalonzo, Eric's brother Frank has vanished without a trace on Comalonzo. It is believed that the Terma is the secret to immortality, according to the beliefs of the Sherpas. As he makes his way down the mountain, Eric passes past a number of deserted monasteries and towns that are located at the foot of the mountain. Eric discovers that he is being assaulted by ghosts, and the monk Thod Pa teaches him how to utilize the third eye, which is a method that enables Eric to see the ghosts and fight them. Eric finds out that Frank has discovered and activated the Terma, and that he has unknowingly used it to enter the Bardo, which is a purgatory that encompasses life, the afterlife, and reincarnation without even realizing it. Since Frank unlocked the door to the Bardo, the spirits that have been wreaking havoc on the mountain have been free to escape. Frank is now unable to live or die since he is stuck within the Bardo. As soon as Eric arrives at the base camp where Bennett and his climbers are staying, he immediately locates Paul, Frank's climbing companion. While Frank was participating in tantric rites, Mingma, who was the apprentice of Jomo Menmo, the high priestess, was also there. It was necessary for Mingma and Frank to engage in sexual activity as part of the final rite. However, Mingma was unable to engage in sexual activity with Frank since she had fallen in love with Paul. Despite the fact that they are climbing Comalonzo, Frank makes the decision to climb it without finishing the ceremonies. Bennett is revealed to be a demon masquerading as a man by Eric after he is responsible for the deaths of Mingma and Paul. By using the third eye, Eric is able to overcome Bennett. In order to reach the summit of Comalonzo and locate Frank, Eric is able to salvage climbing equipment from base camp as well as oxygen tanks from past climbing groups who have been stuck and later died. Instead of going back to life, Frank takes the decision to enter reincarnation by way of the Bardo. He does this in the hope that he would be able to make greater use of his subsequent existence. After Frank passes away, Eric says his final farewell to Frank before he is buried by the Terma. After that, 
Eric makes his way back down the mountain in a sober manner. The game takes its inspiration from the fact that it is not unusual for individuals to go missing or die when climbing mountains, particularly if the peak in question is very dangerous, such as Everest. In addition to climbing Mount Everest by himself, Reinhold Messner accomplished the feat of climbing the mountain without the use of any additional oxygen, which is an astounding accomplishment. A clear reference to Messner may be found in the video game Cursed Mountain, which was inspired by him. In addition to Barry Bishop and Edmund Hillary, he is one of the mountaineers that the game's primary adversary has climbed with. Additionally, throughout the game, a man called Eric is tasked with putting an end to his brother's actions, which include releasing terrible spirits and monsters into the earth. The terrible death of Messner's climber brother Gunther, which occurred just as the two of them were descending a mountain together, served as the impetus for this particular story element.